In this video, I'll show you how to use the Images Property Editor to display images stored in the byte array format. This decreases significant web server memory consumption because the byte array can contain an image in a compressed format and the server doesn't have to unpack it. So now you can display large list views with lots of images and experience no performance issues. I'll start by creating a new XAF application using our wizard to set us up. I'll choose both Windows and the web as target platforms and click Finish. The wizard finishes setting up our XAF app. By default, the app uses the Entity Framework Code First data model. The DB context code is located in the module project in the Business Objects folder. I'm going to include the image data entity that will sort images for my app. The ID is a key property for the image data entity. The name will specify the image name. Image property of the byte array type will store an image file. To assign the image editor for the image property, I apply the image editor attribute to it. This attribute is implemented in the devexpress.persistent.base namespace. To hide the ID property from the UI, I'll apply the browsable attribute and pass false to it. To add the image data item to my app navigation, I apply the default class options attribute. And finally, I add a DB set for the image data entity to the DB context. Let's run the ASP.NET application and take a look at the result. In the navigation, there is the image data item, and I can create new image data. Using the image editor, I can browse images on my PC and upload the selected image. I specify the image name as beverages. Let's add another image named vegetables. And finally, the dairy image. And here in the image data list, you can see our three images. Let's take a look at the WinForms app. It's connected to the same database, so we'll be able to see the same three images. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.